Hey, kiddo, want some ketchup? Ooh, ketchup! Ooh, I just love this stuff. I could eat it all day. Do you want some, Sons? Here, let me... Wait! <laughs> oh, oh dear. I'm so sorry, Sons. I... Uh, can I borrow this? Thanks. Here, I can scrub it out. See? I... Don't. <sighs> it's fine. I'll have Paps wash it later. Okay. Do you want my burger? Nah. I'm not really hungry anymore. Oh. Eh, look, kid. Sorry for being weird. I'm normally a pretty punny guy, but I've been feeling off my game recently. Maybe it's got something to do with all the changes in the past few months. Say, for instance, when the Queen came back, she changed my job title. Instead of being a sentry, I'm now the official human greeter. Now, nothing much has changed. I just nap at my station most of the time. But for some reason, this new title gets stuck in my throat. Why's that? Well, put it this way. I've been working on a new comedy routine, specifically about humans. Mind if I test it out on you? Um, okay. <laughs> Thanks, pal. All right, here goes. So, you're a human, right? Human! Human? Human! 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 That's hilarious. You know, the last human who came down here managed to get the king killed. Folks say they didn't even look back. <laughs> oh, they uh, also managed to disperse the six souls we'd gathered. You know, our only hope of escaping. So we'll be trapped down here for a whole lot longer. <laughs> of course, they weren't that bad. At least they didn't intentionally kill anyone. But, you know, still pretty funny how they crushed everyone's hopes. Everything we'd worked for. And then left. All without saying goodbye. A real gut buster, huh? What I'm saying is, I'm not too sweet on humans these days. But I made the queen a promise. So, I'll let you pass in peace. With just a word of warning, in case you get any ideas. Kiddo, be nice. Because if I find out you haven't been... You'll be in hell so fast, you won't even know how you got there. <laughs> well, this has been lots of fun. But I won't keep you from your spike maze any longer. <laughs> Oops. Have fun. And I'll be seeing you. Yikes. Oh no! I left the puzzle book at Gilby's! How am I ever going to solve this now? Hey Grilbs, get me another ketchup, will ya? Wine with a lid on this time? <laughs> <sighs> what? Sounds. Was any of that really necessary? What you mean, Grilbs? I was just having a bit of fun. You scared that poor human half to death on purpose. You really scared less a dog, too. Oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't mean nothing by it. Sons, don't you remember your oath? We're supposed to treat the humans who fall as friends. Yeah, well, I sure treated the last human as a friend. And look where that got us. <sighs> look. I'm not going to kill him if that's what you're worried about. But 
You know me. I'm way too lazy to do actual work. And treating this human nice after what the last one did? That sure sounds like work to me. You might not believe me now, but just wait. This human's going to disappoint you. That's all humans ever do. There's a switch under this tree. Do you want to press it? Of chapter two. Ah, nothing like a nice winter storm. Full of brisk snow, chilling winds, and. Hmm, what's the word? Um, hyperthermia? Yes, that. It is a shame you couldn't finish all my puzzles. Human bodies are so frail. Um, Papyrus, do you need any help? Isn't the spaghetti going to burn? Oh, not to worry, human. We skeletons are special. We can split our physical forms into smaller parts without issue. My arm is still cooking and doing so fabulously. <laughs> yeah, my bro's cooking is great. You're gonna love it a skeleton. Sons, that was subpar even for you. And why aren't you wearing the jacket the Queen made you? Huh. Must have slipped my mind. <laughs> well, I certainly hope you didn't lose it. Yeah. Sure would be awful if something happened to it. Isn't that right, human? <sighs> All right. It's time to eat! Later. Ah, nothing like fine cuisine cooked by a handsome skeleton. Yeah, that was real good, bro. So, human, you must be looking forward to your imminent meeting with the Queen. Naturally, Sons will have told you all about her. Um, he... I'm gonna kill you, her, her. May have mentioned her? Eh, lazy as always. Well, in any case, you shall meet her very soon. I am sure she will want to get to know you and introduce you to life around here. Her house is very cozy, even if it is severely lacking in bone-themed decorations. Yeah, even if you haven't guessed it yet, kid, you're kind of stuck down here. There's, uh, not really a way out. Even for a human soul like yours. Sons, don't be such a negative nonce. Ah, oh, bro, don't you mean negative sonsy? <laughs> oh, actually, I, I already know I can't leave. Somebody told me that a while back. But, but I, I don't mind. Everyone down here seems really nice. Oh, well then, all the better for you to get acclimated to life underground. And remember, our great royal scientist is working tirelessly to break the barrier. I'm sure we'll all be free soon. <laughs> Unless she dies before she's done, then we'll have to bury her. Stop! Um, sorry. Do you mind if I step out for a minute? I just need a bit of fresh air. Oh, go ahead. Thanks. Be back soon. I like her. <laughs> Good for you, bro. <laughs> huh? Ow, 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 ow. Human! Yeah, human, are you hurt? Let me call someone. I can... No, stop! J just give me a second, Papyrus. I... Yeah, it, it's okay. I'll be okay. <sighs> Are you alright now, human? Yeah, I am. For now, at least. 